build your free online food ordering system with JotForm. Follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a food ordering form. You'll be able to take orders and even receive payments for those orders with JotForm, all right? So this is my JotForm dashboard and we're gonna get started with showing you all the available templates that you can take advantage of and customize it for your own restaurant. So if you head on over to your templates, go to form templates, and inside of here, we are going to search for food ordering. There we go. And we're going to be able to find several templates that we can start using right away and just customize them to our own needs. So for example, we're able to preview these really easily. We are able to test them out right here too. And if we like this template, we can go ahead and use this template. It'll take us to the job form builder where we can actually customize it. We can change images, data, we can add elements, widgets, and we can change the payment gateway to our own needs, all right? So that's a really great option if you wanna use a template. But in this case, we are gonna start from scratch, which is also going to be super easy to do, okay? So let's head on over to create a form, and we are going to start from scratch. We're gonna start a classic form, and in classic form, we are going to drag in the basic elements that we're going to need for our food ordering form. Now it's going to depend on your use case and needs what type of elements you want to add. For example, we may want to ask for the name, the address, the phone number, the email, and that's up to you. Maybe you don't want to ask for the email because this is just a food ordering form, but maybe you want to send out a receipt afterwards. So it just depends what elements you want to use. Now, each one of these elements that we add, we have the option to edit these, right? So if we want to change the properties, the labels, it's all possible with the properties options, okay? And then we have options in case we want to also add for middle name, the prefix, the surfix, and it's up to you what you want to enable or not. And for address, we also have the properties. And again, we can also add or remove some of these properties. Maybe you don't need to know the state or the city, maybe it's just the same city where you are just receiving orders. You're not receiving orders um, nationwide. So maybe you don't need to ask for the state or the country or city. It's just up to you what you want to have available or not, okay? In this case, I'm gonna go into advanced and I'm going to shrink this to make it smaller. And I'm also going to shrink the phone number. So we have a more compact form, okay? Now we're gonna keep that as is. And now we are going to add our payment gateway to add our products, okay? So to do that, we are gonna go into the payment section and there's several available payment gateways that we can start using right away and receive payments for these food orders, okay? So in this case, I'm going to add the most basic one for testing purposes, but um, once you connect to these payment gateways, the rest will be all the same, okay? So in this case, I'll add PayPal personal and I'll add it right about here, okay? And we are going to name this ordering, okay? And now we are going to connect. So in this case, for the PayPal personal, it's super easy. Just add your email and I'll just add a test email for this. Select the currency that you want to use and the payment type. We are going to sell products for the food ordering form. But there's also other options in case you want to use this for other purposes, like subscriptions, define the amount or collect donations, okay? In this case, we want to order products. So let's go ahead and continue and we're able to create our first product, okay? So it's going to create a product and in product, we're gonna sell burgers, okay? So let's add burger right here. And the price for the burger is going to be $10. Description, we are gonna say yummy burger, right? And then we're gonna choose the images. Now I am going to select images that I have available already, but you can upload your own images. So in this case, I'll select those. Here we go. And I'm going to get rid of the pizza one because there's just four burgers. Okay, here we go. Now we have the images. We can auto scale the images. So in case they have different sizes, it'll all auto scale it automatically. Okay, we can make this required so they're not able to continue without selecting one of these products. And if you're only selling this particular product, I would highly recommend this. So they can't just fill out the form without actually ordering something, okay? But if you have several products, I don't recommend that you make it required, okay? Then we have select by default. Again, by default, it'll select the, from several products they have available, it'll select that one by default. If we select this one, it'll select it, okay? So let's go ahead and save this. Here we go. Now we have a burger there. 
and we're going to go into options because we want to provide options for this so we don't want to just sell one burger so we want to give a quantity selector option so we're going to add it right here and we have two options we can add a drop down which is going to add a drop down for the number selection or we can do a text box where they can manually type in the amount they want to order um, I would say that this would be the easiest method, especially if they are going to order from the phone. It's just super easy to drop down and select the amount, okay? We can label this. We'll keep it as quantity and the range 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 to 100. It depends if you're going to receive big orders. Maybe you want to do all the way up to 100. It's up to you. 20, 30, 21, whatever number you want to decide there, okay? And then we have special pricing per quantity. So that is available if you want to enable it. If not, remember, the burger is going to cost $10 because that's what we set it to. But maybe we do want to provide a special price. So you can see right here is already multiplying 10, $10 each one of the burgers that they add. But what if they select 10 burgers? Well, if they select 10 burgers, we are going to leave it in $80. So it's going to be way less expensive than buying nine burgers. But it's just an example of an option that you can provide to give them that extra discount if they select more. Maybe it's a party and you want to give them a special price because they've selected a lot of burgers. So let's do that, okay? So let's save the quantity. And then we have product options. So remember, this is just a plain burger, but we want to add options here. So we'll say type, and then we are going to add our options right here. So in this case, I'm going to say, for example, avocado burger. We're going to say bacon burger and we want to also give the option for a cheesy burger right here we go they got three options there so we're good to go let's go back and we should be good to go you see here now we have a burger with their image we have the quantity selector we have the option selector for the type and let's go ahead and preview this okay so let's go into preview form here we go. We have our ordering option here. I am going to order a burger. I am going to order four of these, and they're going to be the bacon burger. Here we go. We got our quantity. Once we fill this out, continue. It takes us to a payment gateway. All right. Now let's add another product. So again, we'll click on this section, and we're going to go into the payment settings, and we're going to create another product. So in this case, we are going to sell pizza. All right. Here we go. The price for the pizza is going to be twenty dollars. Description pizza choose the image i'm going to select from the ones i've uploaded previously but you can upload or you can enter the url okay so let's go ahead and select that one here we go and we don't make it required select by default no let's go ahead and save this and now we have our pizza and again in options we are going to add a quantity selector we're going to use the drop down too all right let's go ahead and save this and we're going to add options for this and again we're going to say type and we're going to say the traditional cheesy and pepperoni here we go so that's the three options that they have available here right we're not going to set a special pricing for the options all right so here we go now we have our two products available here they're able to now order burgers and pieces through this option okay now there's also options here on the right we can also create coupons for our food ordering system so for example, maybe you want to provide some discounts. We can create a coupon really quickly here to say, for example, 10 off. That's going to be the coupon code. And then the coupon limit, we can say expiration date or by number of uses. So for example, I'll set we're going to give this out to 100 new clients. All right. So we can set a number here. Coupon limit count for the 100 users. Okay. The discount type is going to be percentage in this case. And we said 10 off. So we're going to set the percentage here if it's the amount then change this to amount all right apply a discount to the products and you have the option for shipping subtotals and discount products on all items or just specific items for example we can make that 10 percent off coupon but only available for pieces all right so that's the way we want to set it up and here we go we're able to create multiple coupons for different situations and they'll all be available super easily for them to use here on this form okay now we can also set shipping in case you want to do shipping in this case i don't think that would be a good idea but it's up to you if you want to charge for taking the order to their home okay but in this case we're not going to enable that tax options and the invoice options do you want to enable invoice and we want to send them an invoice to their email in this case okay 
So you can set your business name, the email, phone number, address, notes, etc. Set the company logo, attach this to the email, yes or no, and the selection for notification and autoresponder, which settings, which these settings are going to be available here in the settings section, okay? So for example, you can set who you want the email to be sent to, and I'll show you that in a bit. And generate invoice number. Let's add a unique ID, so invoice ID, all right? Here we go. Let's go ahead and test this out really quickly. So let's go into preview form and let's fill out the form with this demo data. Here we go. It's already pre-selected one of each. Remember, if we select 10, we are going to get a discount of the price of $80, all right? Instead of, for example, $10 for each one, all right? Then we have a coupon, 10 off. Let's go ahead and apply it. And here we go. We got a 10% off from the order. Why? Because we set that coupon in the settings, right? Then the email, it's already tested there. And this should now take us to the payment gateway. In this case, I've used a test email, so practically that's not going to work. But it's just as easy as that to start a food ordering form here. Now, once we have this ready and we're good to go, it looks fine on tablet. It looks great on mobile. And it's just everything's fine. We are ready to publish this. Now, to do that, we're going to go into publish. And there's several options available, including embedding this on your website. Now, right now, for example, I can share this link really quickly so I can copy the link and share it. So if I go to incognito mode, share this link, someone can just open it up and order right away. OK, that's a really quick use case to start receiving orders. Right now, there's also open a new tab. We can invite by email by sending this, this to email. So if you have an email list, for example, you can send it out. You can also create a QR code and there's several options available. You can share with QR code. It'll generate it right away. And this QR code is specific to this order form. So that means that if you have this on your counter, if you share this in a flyer, they'll just scan that and it'll take them to the food ordering form just like that. Right. And there's also options to share them on WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn, X and share as a template. So those are options that you have available. You can also create an app, which will be in another video. And there's also the option to embed this. So if you have a website where you want to allow them to order, well, that's also available. So in this case, I am going to use iframe and I'm going to copy this code. Now I'm going to go to my website. In this case, I am using a WordPress site and I'm going to add this to a section on my site. OK, so in this case, I am going to search for my order page that I've created really quickly. I'm going to edit this. And once I edit, I'll be able to add my code. So I'm going to add it right around here and I'm going to search for HTML and I'm going to select this block. Now, this is Gutenberg, but if you are using other WordPress builders, it will work too. And if you're using Wix, if you're using Framer, something else, they have their HTML section to add our food ordering form. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go find out how it's going to look. Here we go. Here's our order form. Let's go down here. And now we have our food ordering form here on our website. So if you have a section in the menu where you have an order option, you can add your form there and it'll look like this. Here we go. We're ready to go. Now you're able to customize the style and look of your order form once it's ready. But now we're able to test it out and start receiving orders. And if you want to beautify this, go back to the builder. Let's go to the build section. And there's this blue button that says form designer. If I click this form designer, I am able to now customize colors, sections and all that. For example, it's going to be food order and then I have color options. For example, there's color schemes that I can use depending on my restaurant. Maybe there's a color that fits well. If not, I can customize it right here. I can change page color, form color and all that stuff. Now, if you plan to embed this, I would recommend that you make it transparent. OK, so do consider that. And then we have font colors, input backgrounds, advanced designer. There's styles here where we can change the width, make it wider, thinner, and change every aspect of that. And there's also themes available. So if you want to use a theme, that's available already. So if I want to select this theme, for example, which would go well with my food order and form, I can go ahead and use that and it'll automatically add that. Now I'm able to edit every aspect of this too. So if I want to change the image from that theme, I can do so. I don't have to stick with the actual theme, okay? And then there's the layout. Right now, this is a classic form, which is everything in one single section. But if you want to change this to card form, that is possible too. Um, that would depend on you if you want to use that for an order form. It might not be the best option for this, but it's up to you if you like the style. Let me show you this form really quickly. Preview form. 
if not just go switch back so what it does it changes it for sections so now each one of the elements is a section that they will go through and select the order and at the end submit to go to the payment gateway so it looks nice but it depends if it's going to be the right fit for your restaurant okay let's go ahead and switch it back here we go and we are good to go now for the autoresponder and email for the invoice those options are going to be here in settings go to emails and here's the notification and here's the autoresponder in case you want to edit these to change every aspect of this for example the email subject you can say form title which is or the form title is food order and i can say switch that let's form fields and we have several available fields here the invoice id and we can also add for example the name so it's going to be the form title food order invoice id and the person's name all from the title using the variables and you can also type in if you want to do this manually all right and there's also the email content here that we can change add our restaurant logos just modify everything and what we want to keep or not keep we can edit all of these right here there's also the recipients which is going to be sent out to the person who fills it out right and the advanced options so all that will be available in your food order form so it's a really easy way to start receiving food orders on your restaurant with job form so do consider building your food form here on job form test it out i have a feeling that you'll love it and you'll be making more money in your restaurant so i hope you like this video let us know here in the comments what you think about the food ordering forms here on job form and what you would like to see in the future don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.